Hi guys, welcome to Eat East Indian channel and today I'm going to show you a gourmet Indian vegetarian dish that is matar paneer. Now cooking matar paneer is very easy and it is one of the most popular items on Indian restaurants menu. So let's head in the kitchen and make this delicacy. A quick look at the ingredients that we will be using for our matar paneer today. I have here 400 grams of paneer cubes. You can just get a paneer as well. It's Indian cottage cheese. You can get it at large chain grocery stores or uh, ethnic stores, Indian ethnic stores. Um, just get some paneer. If it's in cubes, it's even better. And we will use salt, red chili powder, turmeric, that's healthy, some garam masala. We have coriander seeds, which we are going to crush, cumin seeds fenugreek leaves that's dried fenugreek leaves called kasuri methi uh, gonna use half a cup of green peas i have onion we are going to make onion paste out of two onions chopped some garlic ginger green chili and red tomatoes here in my blending jar i have two chopped onions large and in this i'm going to add three four cloves of garlic one green chili and one inch piece of ginger chopped i have added one fourth cup of water and i'm going to blend everything together to make a smooth paste look at that our onion paste is ready nice and smooth we'll set it aside in the wok here i have hot oil heating up and in this hot oil we'll go ahead and add one teaspoon of cumin seeds, coriander seeds, crushed coriander seeds, one teaspoon cumin seeds, one teaspoon crushed coriander seeds and in this we'll add our onion paste. And in this onion paste we are going to add some of our other spices that's turmeric, salt and red chili powder one teaspoon turmeric that's haldi red chili powder as per your taste depending on how much heat can handle how much spice you can handle remember we have already added one green chili in the onion paste so be careful and salt because this is a curry dish you do want to have nice taste so i'm adding two teaspoons of salt We'll mix everything together and we'll let our onions cook for 4-5 minutes until their raw flavor is out. Onion paste is looking gorgeous. It has changed in color, decreased in volume and in this we will go ahead and add our tomato paste. The puree that we have made out of 3 to fresh tomatoes. So tomato puree of 3 fresh tomatoes in. Stir it in and let your tomatoes cook a little bit give it another four five minutes now along with tomatoes we are going to add our green peas in give them a quick stir the tomatoes and onions have decreased in volume quite a bit the moisture from our tomato puree has gone away so tomatoes are cooked perfectly now we'll go ahead and add our paneer pieces in and along with paneer we are going to add teaspoon of kasuri methi so just crush the kasuri methi leaves and put them in and stir everything well together and add one cup of water bring the water to a boil so depending on how thick or thin you want your curry you can adjust the water you can add more water if you want but i prefer a little thicker curry so our mutter paneer is almost ready just the last finishing touch i'm going to add half a teaspoon of garam masala and we'll stir our garam masala in and to garnish, I'm going to use some cilantro leaves. So go ahead, make this matra paneer recipe tonight. Let me know how it turns out for you. And don't forget to subscribe to Eat East Indian channel. I'll see you soon with something more exciting. So do keep watching.